Did you just receive a sizable amount of settlement money? It's probably an emotional time for you, but you're also thinking, what should I do with all this settlement money? Cashing in a half a million or a million dollar check can be quite scary and intimidating. Here at District Capital, we've been working with clients in the same situation. And if you're in the same boat, stick around for the next couple of minutes because I'd really like to share five tips on what to do with your settlement money. We'll discuss the tax implications, where should you keep it, should you give some to your family, how to best invest it, and finally, big picture wise, what to do with your settlement money. I'll share a ton of resources along the way too. The first question you may have in mind is money taxable. It really depends on your situation. If it's a settlement from a personal or physical injury, it's usually non-taxable. Emotional distress settlement awards are typically non-taxable if the distress is attributable to a physical injury or physical sickness. Car accident injury settlements are usually non-taxable. What is typically taxable are lawsuits about lost wages or punitive damages, which are damages assessed to punish a defendant. So it really depends on your specific situation. It's best to consult your lawyer, a tax attorney, or a CPA. Second question you may ask is, where should I keep this settlement money? While you're still trying to figure things out, you may want to keep it in your bank account first. Now, instead of letting it sit in your checking account and doing nothing, you may want to consider opening and moving it to a higher yielding savings account so it can earn a little bit more interest. Now, after the dust has settled, then you can start thinking about best tax advantage accounts or strategies to maximize this opportunity. So let me share you three things that you can consider. The first one is a Roth IRA or a backdoor Roth IRA. If you're no longer eligible to contribute to a Roth, this is a great way to grow a small part of your settlement money tax-free. Another great way to grow your money tax-free, which not a lot of people know about, is contributing to a health savings account or an HSA. Now, not everyone is qualified to contribute to an HSA, so make sure you watch our video on HSAs versus FSAs to know what's right for you. And the bulk of your settlement money is probably gonna go to a brokerage account, which is the third type of account that you can consider. Another common question that comes up is, should I give money to family? Your family members or relatives may not necessarily be in the best financial situation, so I totally understand if you feel the urge to help them out, nothing wrong with that. Or maybe they're financially good, but they'll still come knocking at your door. Maybe your brother-in-law will ask, hey, can I, have $10,000 to help me buy a truck. What's $10,000, right? Compared to half a million or a million dollars that you just got. Nothing wrong with giving. I just personally feel it's best for you to have a holistic plan first on what to do with your settlement money before making these types of decisions. Another common question that we get is how best to invest this settlement money? Investing can be a great way to grow this pot of money over time, but there are so many investment options out there, it can be overwhelming. And a lot of them carry hidden fees. To give you an idea on the extent of these hidden fees, in 2014, the White House released a report revealing that these hidden fees and hidden commissions are costing middle-class families $17 billion a year. $17 billion going from Main Street to Wall Street. So it's really important to educate yourself. You can start by reading about index funds, which are mutual funds that have really low fees, which means you get to keep more of your money. One popular set of index funds are Fidelity index funds. So make sure you check out our video on Fidelity index funds for beginners. There are index funds for stocks, for bonds, for emerging markets. There are all sorts of index funds so you want to make sure that you educate yourself on what's the best way to invest that settlement money. If you're thinking about investing in a real estate property, feel free to also check out our video on how to calculate the rate of return 
on a real estate property so you know exactly what you're getting into and you know more or less how much money you can potentially make in this investment. The fifth and final question that I'd like to help answer is what should I do with this settlement money? I would like to urge you to find some quiet time and reflect on your life goals. What is important to you? What brings you joy? And then think about how you can use the settlement money as a tool to help you live your best life. For example, do you get energy being close to the water? And maybe you've been thinking about buying a vacation home that's close to the water. If you have a child, do you want to pay for your son or daughter's college? Do you want to use this opportunity to enable you and your family to retire early or maybe switch to a lower paying job but that's more fulfilling for you? After you reflect on these life goals, then you can think about surrounding yourself with a team of experts to help you implement that plan. I would suggest starting with your quarterback, which is a fiduciary financial advisor. Now, a fiduciary financial advisor is not your common advisor. The typical advisor that we know of are the ones who try to sell you insurance products or annuities that you may not necessarily need. A fiduciary financial advisor will act in your best interest, will work with you in examining and honing that life goal of yours, then creating a holistic and comprehensive plan to implement that. You probably have a lot more questions to ask on what to do with your settlement money. Feel free to write any questions that you may have still below in the comment section and I'll do my best to respond to them. Or feel free to shoot me an email or schedule a free call with me or any member of my team here at District Capital. I'll leave the link in the description.